The Complete Guide to Microsoft Office Getting Started Another Computer Mama Guide Say you wanted to learn Microsoft Office. You need to have the software. Microsoft Office is available free to anyone who's a student. That includes grade school, high school, even college. You can get your software through Microsoft Office 365. It is a subscription service and there are several plans and pricings that you can choose from if you're not a student. For example, there's pricing for home, as well as business. There are a couple of different plans so you certainly can find one that meets your budget. Look for one that includes the software, Microsoft Office. Okay, you've chosen a plan. It's time to log in. This is the Microsoft Office 365 website, and I've entered the username and password for my sample person, Glenn Glick. Hello, Microsoft Office 365. And hello, Microsoft Outlook Online. Outlook is just one of the applications that are available in Office 365 Online. Click on the button in the upper left corner, and what do you see? These are the apps. It includes Word Online, Excel Online, PowerPoint Online. Look again. This is also where you can find the OneDrive. Office 365 is all about sharing and collaboration. You can use your OneDrive to access your data, your presentations, and your pictures from any computer, any phone, anywhere. You can also choose who gets to see what, so you set the level of privacy or sharing. Say you wanted to look at a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. I've double-clicked on it in the OneDrive, and what do you see? PowerPoint Online opens my presentation so that I can view it. In the upper right-hand corner are some tools that I can use to share it if I wish, as a link or as an online meeting. These are very useful tools for sharing and collaboration. But what if you wanted to edit this presentation? Click on Edit Presentation and what do you see? There are two options. Full PowerPoint used to be called the desktop software. It is what I would use on my computer or laptop. You can also edit this presentation in PowerPoint Online. Let's take a look. My presentation opened in PowerPoint Online and I can see several tool options. The ribbons include Home, Insert, Design, Transitions, and Animations, so I can definitely make some changes to this presentation. But how does this compare to the desktop version? Here is the same presentation opened in Microsoft PowerPoint on my laptop. In the full version of Microsoft PowerPoint, each ribbon has more tools. Both versions of Microsoft PowerPoint include Insert, Design, Transition, and Animations. But look how many more buttons are on the desktop version. There are also two more ribbons in the desktop versions that are not included in PowerPoint Online. They are Slideshow and Review. Here I've set up both versions side by side. The one on the bottom is PowerPoint Online, and the one on top is the desktop version, or the one they call Full Function. The same goes true for Microsoft Word. Here is a document opened in the desktop version of Microsoft Word. The ribbons are rich with tools. I've opened the same document in Microsoft Word Online. Look again. The desktop version of Microsoft Word includes references and mailings. These are two business tools that I need. What if it wasn't either or? What if you needed Office 365 to share things and collaborate online and you needed the desktop version to get your work done? You're in luck. Both of these options are available with Office 365. This is Microsoft Office 365 and I am in Outlook Online. Your account options are usually found in the upper right-hand corner. The tools may be different depending on which version of Office 365 you have, but they all have settings. Click on it, and then click on Office 365 Settings.
What do you see? At the top of the settings, you can use the buttons to change the theme or your start page. But what we're looking for is right there. Software. Install software. Click on it. What do you see? Microsoft Office 365 includes your download versions or click to run of Office 2016. It includes Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and Access. It also includes Publisher, Skype for Business, and the OneDrive for Business. Say you needed Office 2013 to match what you do at work. Scroll down. You can choose to use Office 2013 if you wish. In between Office 2010 and Office 2013, two-thirds of all computing changed from being done on my laptop to being done on my device, on a phone, or on a tablet. There's a mobile version of Microsoft Office that you can use on your phone, and yes, you really can open Excel and edit that spreadsheet. The mobile version of Outlook synchronizes with my desktop, and it really makes my phone useful. This works well. Microsoft Office 365 Student Advantage is available to 35,000 schools in the United States. The steps to get your software with the student version of Microsoft Office 365 are similar. If you're a student, you'll be prompted for your email, and it probably has to include the name of your school, myname.edu. There is a wizard that will walk you through the steps to set up your account in Microsoft Office 365. Say you did the steps, and here we are, ready to log in. What do you see? The student version of Microsoft Office 365 opens with the option to download your software. The school version of Microsoft Office includes software for the PC or the Mac. So hello Office 365. This lesson was an introduction to the tools that are available and how we can download the software we need on the desktop. Ollie Ollie and Free, you done good. This is the Computer Mama. And thank you for coming.